Today on Drawly, we are talking about three perfect drawing ideas for the lazy. Hey, I'm Ben, and I'm Abby, and we are self-taught artists documenting our journey of learning to draw, which is of course better with friends. So click that <laughs> subscribe button if you're new around here, and share your artwork on Instagram with the hashtag Drawly. All right, so some of us out there are a little lazy when it comes to finding ideas to draw. I've been there, you've been there. I did just dig everything out of my purse like last last week, week and, and drew, drew everything drew in there. So, um, yeah, we know, we know what it feels like. So here we are with three perfect and easy drawing ideas. This first one, you're like, oh, he's drawing a car. Like, is this is this guy into cars? No, no, I'm not into cars at all. And you that's drive the a point. Nice, modest Hyundai Sonata. Hyundai, yes. Hyundai that's Sonata. how you say that. <laughs> anyway, number one, drawing something that you don't <laughs> care about. Cars. Which, which for me is cars. It could be cars for you. Do you care about cars? Are you a car person? What don't you care about? Whatever that is, draw it. Yeah, because you won't worry if it's not perfect. Exactly. You're not gonna worry worry about what the end result looks like because you're already like, mm, cars, I don't care. Or mm, platypus. Insert blank. <laughs> insert blank. Yeah, there's somebody out there thing. who's like, God, I hate platy platypi. I would draw football players. Ooh, you and, and you have done like some rugby players yeah. before. Yeah. The secret hidden boy for those who remember. Oh, yeah. Boo -boo. <gasps> Boo -boo. That's the pop up sound that Abby makes when I have to edit artwork on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not worried about what the end result looks like. And uh, because of that, it removes some of the tension, which is already stressful because you have to find something to draw. And you don't know what the heck you're gonna draw. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I drew this car, I think it's a Bronco, a Ford Bronco, based on my quick Google search and ability to read the pixelated uh, word that's on the side of the vehicle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I uh, drew, I think this is maybe the second vehicle I've ever drawn, ever. Uh, but I am actually extremely happy with the way it turned out. And a big part of that was because I didn't have like this tension of all the faces and portraits that we've been drawing lately. Mm -hmm. So we recently went through the Ahmed Al Dori course for those that are unfamiliar, Meds Map. It was very good. It was very good. And uh, there's still like some bonus stuff that we haven't gone through yet that I plan on going back through and uh, tackling myself. I need to do that too. We both should. And we should both share it here on Drawly. We should. Uh, so that helped remove a lot of the tension. We've been doing so many faces lately. Faces have been very hard because guess what? If you mess up even the slightest thing on a face, everybody sees it, it's very obvious, it sticks out like a sore thumb, it's not great. No. Very stressful, very hard to work on faces, and I needed a break from working on faces. Yes. Hence, the Ford Bronco. Here it is. Hence. And it is so cute and so fun. Uh, when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, it just has so much liveliness and expression to it, like a car from the movie Cars, you know? It has a lot of its own character. I should have given it a face is what you're saying. I should have put like some giant googly eyes. You didn't need to. Oh, I didn't need to. Yeah, it, it carried on its own without that. The color is so cute and fun. Um, I loved how you did it for the thumbnail of this video with that bright background. It just really pops. And I think it would be a great, now that you have it, you could even use it as an environment piece if you wanted to try to create a form or a portrait like near the car, coming out of the car, somebody like sticking their head out the window and waving. <laughs> you have this already. You could probably interject that in without too much trouble. And then, yeah, boom, already ready-built environment. Very Free cool. background, repurpose what you already have. Oh, that's a very Folygon kind of idea and concept. Repurpose your geometry. Who's this Folygon that you're talking Who about? Who is this Folygon? Link below in the uh -huh. description. Link below in the description. Go <laughs> check, check him out. Check, check that mm. weeb out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I did really enjoy working on this car, which I actually did not expect. Um, which seems like really counter to the idea of draw something you don't care about because I worked on this for maybe like an hour, hour and a half at really? most. Really? It, it didn't take that long. But what um what inspired me to work on this was actually you drawing all the crap in the bottom of your purse. That's awesome! Because you were drawing all this like mundane stuff and I was like, oh, what's something like mundane and boring that I don't care about? And I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll do a car. But what was so fun about this exercise that I really enjoyed is that I ended up like getting to see all of my skills that I had gained over the past little while 
because we've really leveled up a lot lately. And uh, because we've been working on faces so much and doing the same thing, I'm like, well, now if I do a different subject matter, how do all these things I've learned translate to that? And this is a really good example of how all that knowledge has transferred. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, it's so cool to see it. Yeah, so if you go back maybe eight months, I, I mean, we we kind of flip-flopped through the Ahmed al Dori course, like we didn't do it all in one stint, we've kind of gone back and forth, so I'm not exactly sure, but before we started doing a million portraits. Before we started doing a million portraits. We were... Doing like random whatever the heck we could think of. Oh yeah! So we were doing like animals or like mundane objects, literally just mm -hmm. whatever because we were just practicing basics mm -hmm. and fundamentals. Mm -hmm. And we had to do it. We had to get those reps in. Quantity over quality was the name and is the name of our game. And here we are today creating these amazing pieces like this really cool car. Are you going to become a car person now? I am probably not going to become a car person, no. Um, but I did really enjoy painting this, and I would highly recommend and encourage others to draw something that you don't care about uh, that much because I think you would be pleasantly surprised with the outcome. Hmm, I'm gonna draw some football players and um, maybe some silverware. I don't care about silverware. That's actually, like, that is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, just draw something completely useless and, well, not useless, but boring, where you're just like, I don't know, some spoons, like, you and know, And then whatever. give them personality. Like, you gave personality to this car. I don't know if I gave it personality. Totally you did. Okay, I gave it personality. Totally you did. Anyway. I know that was a long number one, but I enjoyed working on that car so much I wanted to show off a lot of the process. So uh -huh. the second one here is not drawing something you don't care about necessarily, but drawing something simple and mundane. Mm -hmm. Abby loves drawing mundane things, I whatever do. that might be. But I specifically want to emphasize the drawing or painting of a simple object. Mm -hmm. So the purpose here is to focus not like when you're working on a face, right? You have the eyes, you have the mouth, you have the nose, the ear, the general structure and proportion of the face. You got the skin tone, the shading, the highlights, the shadows, the everything. The everything. The everything. Oh my gosh. That's a lot to do. It is a lot to do. It's nice to be able to step back and just focus on an apple, which you say you care about apples. I've never seen you eat an apple. That is because I can't bite directly into an apple because of my condition. Oh, we don't need to go into that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, anyway, so drawing something extremely simple will keep the mystery alive. What's Ben's condition? Oh my gosh, what's wrong what with it? <laughs> so working on a super simple object like this, what, and it doesn't have to be an apple. I do really think that an apple is a good subject matter though because of the, you know, it's like a spherical object. You can work on your color, you can work on your brushwork, mm -hmm. you can work on focus, blending. There's so many fundamentals that you can work on here that are not necessarily going to be like overcomplicated from all these other things that you would have to focus on with a face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you did a really good job with that here. Oh, I like your beams of light, how fun. Very cool. I like all the way that you've done the brushwork here. Um, excuse the, the butchering of grammar in that previous sentence as this thought emerged, but the little strokes, much like you did on the watermelon in a more recent video, um, which gave a lot of uh, translucency and kind of bright juiciness to the fruit you were yeah. drawing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I appreciate that you've recaptured that here and translated that to the skin of an apple. Very yeah, it's cool. something I've been playing with a lot lately on certain faces. It works if you're trying to do like what a lot of people would con consider the traditional beautiful female face then uh, a lot of these like smudgy brush strokes kind of feel a little a little heavy-handed in my mm -hmm. opinion it mm -hmm. gets muddy really quick same thing on like masculine faces as well but uh like on older faces it works a lot gives it a lot more texture mm -hmm. um but a lot of the time it, it just doesn't work and i'm just trying to figure out ways i can work it in so it's a work in progress it's a, a process that i'm experimenting with and that's why simple subject matter once again being extremely important because it's something that we can do relatively uh 
you know, focused study of. Yes. What will be your next simple subject matter? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. Do you got any, do you got any ideas? Mm -hmm. The fridge. The whole fridge or just like the box of the refrigerator? Mm, I think the whole fridge. Like the inside of it? No, that would be way too complex. You're, so you're just saying the outside shape? Yes, the outside shape. That's not that's not a bad idea because it's metallic. It's got reflective nature. It's got some magnets. It's got some magnets. Yeah, a little bit of key. <laughs> All things. right, and then finally here for the third one is to just sketch, doodle around, and not you know have anything that's ah. super high. Um, what would you say? High like high production value. High production value. Yeah. So this is the payoff. You've done all your mundane things, and now it's time to come back and see how you're doing with actual faces. And I've seen these faces. I love it. You did a really good job. This one especially. Is I, I'm just going to share two of these cool. really quick here at the end because this one I don't want uh, to throw like a ton of you know ideas at. Basically, it's really simple. Sketch, doodle, whatever it might be. It can be a face. It can be whatever's sitting in front of you. It could be something mundane. I actually, here's here's how much I want to say about these. I wasn't even going to share these here on Drawbly because they were just quick little sketches that I did. I like that you're sharing them though because that's part of the journey. It's not just the big finished pieces, it's the sketches we make along the way. <laughs> it's, the, it's the friends <laughs> or sketches we make along the way. Because those are like but the little attitude. things that add up. That, that is the attitude that you should have going into this. Simple, quick, not even something you're gonna share online. And uh, there are a few others that I made so cool. uh, along the way. So that Again, just something quick, yeah. simple doodles, don't worry about the end result. And I think that's a common theme with all of these. Don't worry about the end result. It's like Just a sketchbook tour. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Definitely it has that vibe. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see more sketchbook tours, click that subscribe button. And share your work on Instagram with hashtag Drawbly, because drawing is better with friends. And this is the part where we say... Goodbye. Goomba. If I could have any car, it would be that green Bronco. That thing is so cute. What would you name it? Bronk. Bronchoscopy. Bronchiitis. Bronchiosaurus. Bronch. Bronchiomama. Bronchiomama. Is that anything? No. Oh. <laughs>